Hello everyone and welcome back to Getting Started with HTML Coin version 2. My name is Zach Smith. I'm the Executive Vice President for Educational Technology here at HTML Coin Foundation. And today, this video will cover mining. More appropriately, block generation. Now, there are several ways to get some of your new HTML coin. Have a friend send it to you. Visit a exchange and uh, trade some. Also, you can use proof of work. Proof of work is what's typically called mining. And that's what we're going to go over today. Before we get started, though, don't forget that htmlcoin.com is the official headquarters for all HTML coin. And the uh, this is the official YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video in order to stay on top of new information as it comes out. Now, let's talk miners. Because of the stack of technology that is now HTML coin version 2. That would be the Bitcoin framework as well as the Ethereum framework. We do not have access to a miner like CC miner or, or SG miner at this time. That is in the works and will be released as soon as possible. In the meantime, we're going to talk about block generation. Let's go ahead and open our wallet. Now how do we do that? You may have created a desktop icon. If not, just go ahead and go to your search and look for, uh, type in HTML, and look for HTML Core 2.0. Now notice I also have HTML Coin. This is the old wallet for version 1 and is being discontinued. If you have coins here in this kind of wallet, uh, the manual swap will be starting ASAP and you can swap those out to 2.0 coin. Let's go ahead and open the wallet. Give that a second to load. Excellent. Notice that we're still with no HTML coin. And down here on the bottom, we're not staking while it's currently offline. There's nothing to stake. We have three active connections and the block is uh, the blockchain is current. All right, so let's go to help debug window and over to console. I emphasize again, pay attention to this warning. The scammers have been active telling users to type commands here stealing their wallet contents. Do not use this console without fully understanding the ramifications of a command. If you have questions, visit HTML coin and contact us and from here you can either submit an email or you can reach out to any of our social media make sure you understand is correct let's open both of these here All right so the first thing we want to do is type help now if we scroll up a little bit we can see mining information here at this time, we're actually going to be generating blocks. So we will use oops, this part right here. Generate in blocks and the matrices. Now, this in block is the number of blocks it will generate. And this is how many times it will try to generate a block. How do we use it? It's simple. We type in generate, notice here, space, our in block, we're going to do 100, and then the number of times, let's do 999, 999, 99, eight nines. Now, this is not science at this point. Depending on your CPU, and the combination, you may re, uh, experience slightly better um, block generation results than other combinations. I don't have an exact answer for you. I personally am trying them out, trying lots of opportunities. I have generated blocks with this very command successfully. 
However, if you come up with a combination that seems to work well, please leave your comments. This would help us and as well as our community. This is a community organization, right? HTML coin is about community, so please help out. Now, we've, we've typed the command generate, we've started with 100, and we have eight nines in a row. Now what? Well, you hit enter. That's it. And here in a moment, it will try those blocks. Now, if we catch a block, we will receive a, suggest this so we can see a little better. It will come up with a mining icon. It's a picture of a pickaxe and it'll say 1250000 HTML coin. That's it. How can we make this work a little more effectively, a little more efficiently? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, let's see. All right, so we have the generate command. We can do other generations. We could say generate 1099 times, right? Or something to that effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this block, uh, this generate a block. Either we will be successful and receive a mine or not and we will get empty uh, block here. Either way, I'll come back and we'll work through the next step. All right, we're back. So notice the output here, this arrow showing out versus the arrow pointing into the circle. We got empty blocks. So that means we did not generate a block that uh, for the blockchain. Now this process here is hit and miss of course there is a certain amount of luck or lottery to it but you can generate blocks uh, now let's try some different options what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of this block by two and if you notice it will only take a moment for it to run very quickly right now let's add one more let's see how long that one takes and you can see how you can start to uh, mess with the parameters or play with the parameters to generating blocks. The one problem that we have is that this is rather manual. I do it on my laptop uh, throughout the day whenever I get a chance of uh, the block generation and pull 20, 30, 40 blocks in a day. The problem is, how can we load it? Now, I've been told, so let's load this one more time. Oh, one other thing. When your cursor is here, all you need to do is hit the up arrow, and it will load the last command. Or you can continue to hit it, and it will load all the commands. But what I want to do is I want to load a, a short block, so this will generate quite quickly. And we're going to look at loading. Now, I have to be honest, I've been told this works just like regular <laughs> uh, block generation. I have not had as good of results with it, so please let me know how uh, you do. But what that means is you're loading it up. You're hitting it several times. okay? And it will set and generate through your block. So we'll watch it here for a moment and you can see it's ending those blocks. Now, of course, you don't want to use six nines. You want eight or nine of them. You may try 101. You may try a thousand different uh, combinations. Personally, the best results I have is 100 with eight nines. But depending on the speed of your CPU and other things, that will have some impact on it. You can also try smaller ones. So you could say, let's do 40 at, and it will generate those blocks. This does take a little bit of playing around. If you want to start somewhere, try generate 100 or generate 101 with eight or nine nines. Load it up and let it go to work. I was hoping we would hit a block just out of pure luck, but uh, 
doesn't look like we're going to get one, but you can see the process. This is all there is to it. It's pretty simple. If you have questions, uh, uh, submit them below. Don't forget to subscribe. And when I come back for the next episode, we're going to actually send a deposit in and look at uh, staking and some other things. We'll even have the miner going. Uh, we'll try to generate some blocks as well. Alrighty, thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you and hearing your results with block generation. And until next time, happy mining.